I hope you're all having a great morning today. Or if you're not, that's okay too, actually. Some of us are sometimes have rough mornings. But sometimes of, being creative is will help with that, right? Yes. So. so hopefully you will have a great time here. We're gonna wait just a few more moments to see if any more friends join us. And then Miss Katie will be able to get started. I'm Miss Heidi, or just Heidi, you can call me that. And I work in the launch pad. So I work in the, the really cool room where we have a lot of fun things to do. And maybe you come to pick up a DIY to go bag, or you just stop in and say hello. And if you don't stop in and say hello, the next time you're at the library, you should, because we have some really friendly, nice people there and some fun things to do. And of course, Miss Katie is here with us today. So grown-ups, okay, real quick, just to make sure you have the things you need, you're going to need a baking sheet, and you should have got this with your kit. And in your kit, you should have had some paint. So grown-ups, if you can help, if you have not unwrapped the paint yet while we're doing our story and songs and rhymes, if you could unwrap the tops of your paint so it's ready to go. And then for each person in your group, each child in your group, you should have three pieces of paper. One, two, three. And... You should have some marbles and then some washi tape. And if you'd like to, you can have some paper towels. I recommend putting a tablecloth on your space if you want to, just to keep things as neat as possible. Miss Katie has a robe on. I have a robe on just so that we, um, can save all of our, or keep our clothes as clean as possible. Even then, sometimes it's hard to do. The other thing I have is I have some cardboard here that I'm just gonna keep to the side so that when I take off my, uh, my art, I can lay it there to dry, but you can use your roll of paper towels for that as well. All right, Miss Katie, are you ready to begin? I am ready. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to Miss Katie and let her have all the fun with all of you. All right. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. As I was telling Miss Heidi earlier, when I was looking for a book to share today, it was really hard for me to pick something. And then I just happened to find the perfect story. And I'm really excited about it because I think it goes really well with the project we're doing today. It's called Oscar and the Cricket, a book about moving and rolling. Since our project today is going to be marble painting, I thought this would be a really good choice. All right, so here's our friend. Oscar, going for a morning walk. And one day Oscar was up on the hill when he found something round and red in the grass. So what do you think it could be? Yeah, it's a ball. Cricket jumped up. It's a ball, he said, you can make it roll. Try pushing with your paw. So Oscar did. The ball rolled away through the grass, then lay still. Why did it stop, Oscar asked. The thick grass slowed it down, Cricket said. Good. We're All good. Right. <laughs> A long branch was lying in the way. We'll have to move it, Cricket said. I'm not big enough or strong enough, but you are, Oscar. Try giving it a pull. <sighs> Oscar groaned. Slowly, the branch started to move. Oscar put the ball on the path and gave it another push. And this time, it rolled along and along and along. 
the smoother the surface you roll it on, Cricket said, the farther it will go. <gasps> it's rolling in a straight line, Oscar noticed, and it's heading towards the tree. Bounce. Oh dear, Oscar said. It's all right, said Cricket. The ball hit the side of the tree and that made it roll in a different direction. All right, so let's see, where is it gonna go? For a moment, Oscar stopped watching the ball to look up. The leaves were swaying and fluttering. Hmm, the leaves can move by themselves, Oscar said. It looks like it, Cricket said, but the wind is pushing them and making them move. We've all seen that on a windy day, right? The branches, the leaves, maybe the needles on the pine tree start to move when we get a, a gusty day. Does everything need a push to make it move? Oscar asked. What about me? You can move by yourself, Cricket said. Most animals can. Our bodies have muscles to help us. And he jumped up and down. Moving makes you change shape. Oscar said, laughing. Just then, Oscar saw the ball again lying in the grass. And this time, he gave it a great big push. It rolled through some mud. It rolled through some leaves. Is it slowing down, Oscar asked? Yes, Cricket said, but it hasn't stopped. You gave it such a strong push. Maybe it will never stop, Oscar said. But just then, a kitten put out a paw, and the ball stopped. Hello, said Oscar. I'm Oscar, and this is Cricket. Who are you? I'm Ted, said Ted. Can I play? Ted gave the ball a push, and Oscar ran after it. Look out, called Cricket. Run, roll, flutter, jump. Everything was moving on the hill. The end. All right, my friends. Now I have a very dramatic song for us to try. So this is called Beethoven's Five Finger Play. It's coming to us from Jim Gill. And this song is gonna have us starting out moving fingers on our hands, and then it's gonna end up with an instrumental section, which means there aren't gonna be any words. It's just gonna be music. We're gonna start out with a slow, small clap, and then we're gonna make our noise bigger and bigger until we get to the end. So let's get our hands and our fingers ready. I'm gonna get our music ready here. Make sure my speaker is turned on. All right, now when I start the music, if you can't hear it, give me a thumbs down to let me know. I think that this should be loud enough for everybody though. All right. Here is a simple Give little finger play, such a very impressive score. Wake them up. Stretch both hands out on either side of you and curl your fingers into a fist. Now just listen and follow along. The time has come. Show me your thumb. Next thing to do. Pointers out too. Middles extend as they unbend. Ring fingers next. Flex them out stretched. No time to wait. Pinkies out straight.
take your bow at the end. That was awesome, everybody. Nice job. All right, now hopefully you feel like your hands and your fingers are awake and ready to go because now we get to find out what our awesome art project is gonna be today. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Katie. That was so much fun. Can you give us a thumbs up if you had a good time making your fingers move and getting them ready? Okay, friends. So you should have in front of you your tray. Sure. And your paper you can have off to the side ready to go. I'm going to have my paints right here, my marbles here, and then my tape here. And the washi tape, what we're going to do is use it to tape our paper in here. Because just like in the story, when we start going like this, our paper moves around. We're I mean, using gravity. So they pushed, that was the force they used. They pushed to move the ball, but the force right now is gravity. That's the force that keeps us on the earth. So when I tilt it and shift it, that force called gravity makes the paper fall. So that doesn't happen. We're going to take our washi tape. So grownups, if you could help with this, you could do a full frame around the sides if you want. For this one, I'm just going to do, to uh, tear off a little bit of tape and I'm gonna tape at my corners, press down as good as it can just so it stays in place. Okay, and I'm going to take away my pin here so that you can get a nice full view of my tray. And it's okay if your washi tape is not sticking completely. We just need it to stick just enough so that it holds your paper down in place so that, see, it doesn't move anymore. Hold right in place. And I'm going to put a paper towel here because I'm going to need it for my marbles when we're done. But the first thing is take your colors and you can use one color, two of the colors, or all three of the colors. It's up to you. I, for this one, I like these two blues a lot. So I have this ocean breeze and peacock blue. So I'm gonna give them a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. And then, I'm gonna just do a few little dots. The more paint you add, so remember to be careful because the more paint you add, the longer it will take to dry. So I'm just gonna add, I did six dots there. And with this blue, I'm gonna do one, two, and they can just be random three. I'm going to put one dot on top of one of my other dots. That's four, five, oh, and six. And then, all right. And then I have my marbles. So you could do one marble. You could do all the marbles. It's totally up to you. You could do something in between. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm dropping all my marbles in there. And then we're gonna use that gravity to go back and forth and around. So if I start here and I go bend or tilt it this way, they go straight across. I can make them move around this way and go across. I can be really wild with them swirl and swirl. 
And you can do as much covering as you want. If you get to a point and you say, hmm, you look at it and you think, I think I'm done. I am happy with that. I like how it looks. You can stop there and dump your marbles out onto a piece of paper or into a, a cup, however you want to do it. Or if you think, you know what, I'm not ready yet. I need a little bit more. You can do some more. You could even, if you wanted to, if you said, looked at this and I was like, hmm, I think I want more of my teal color. No, actually, I want more of my blue. I could add another drop or two. And then swirl around. So this is all up to you to try and see what happens. Okay. So that's our first one. If you think you are good and you are happy with that, you can dump your marbles onto some paper. And then very carefully, I'm going to roll up my sleeves because I'm gonna get my hands a little messy right now. I am going to untape that. And I even got some really cool things because of the tape. Do you remember we've talked about masking before in some of our other classes where we have the tape down or something down and it protects our paper. So we have some little masking marks at the corners from where we taped. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side so it can dry. How about you, Miss Katie? I'm gonna bring Miss Katie up for a second. I used all three of my colors to start out. <gasps> I had red, pink, and purple. That's so pretty. Yeah, I think that turned out pretty cool. I think maybe what I'm going to do next time is I think I'm going to do um, smaller drops of paint to start with because I made some kind of bigger splats so you can see those circles. So I'm going to try this time to just do little smaller dots of paint and see what that looks like. Very nice plan. So just like Miss Katie was planning out her next steps, you can plan out your next steps and think about what what do you like about the one you finished? What would you like to change? What would you like to add? Those are all things we can think about because each art piece that we make is a learning experience. So this time I'm going to put my paper in and with my washi tape, I'm actually, I wanna kind of do a frame all around the outside. So. I'm going to carefully take my washi tape and tape it down so I'm framing the outside. I'm so I'll mask the outside bits so it looks like a frame when I'm done. You could do just the corners again. You could see what happens if you don't tape it down. Try that experiment and see what happens when everything is moving all over the place. I did try that when I was practicing. And if you're having a little trouble with this washi tape, that's okay. I am too. Okay, so my thoughts. So we heard what Miss Katie was thinking for her next one. And I think what I want to try is I'm going to do all three of my colors. So I have them there. And this time I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a really thin, let's see if I can do it. I'm going to try and do a little line of some colors. Well, they're still just coming out in dots, but that's okay. I'm gonna do a line here. And what's nice about this is you will have, you'll have enough paint left over, I think, that you'll be able to practice this quite a few times and try all kinds of different things with it. You see, you could even do this with regular paper. The heavier paper is a little bit nicer, but you can always do it with regular paper. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dump my marbles back in. And I'm gonna go side to side, down. 
swirl, swirl all around. Then I'm going to go to one corner and I'm going to go diagonal to the other corner. So I'm going to tip it and then I'm going to let them slide down to the other corner and I'm going to tip it to the other corner. Just make it as fun as you want. I'm going to see how much of this I can cover. The great thing I like about art projects like this is that we get to be really silly. We don't have to take everything so seriously. Just get to have fun and see what happens. There is a famous artist. His name is Jackson Pollock. And he does art that is colors that he kind of throws and moves around on the canvas. And he has his own method. So even if people, you think like, oh, art looks like, art should be a picture. It should be something I can know. And I see it, I'm like, oh, that's a pineapple. That doesn't have to be what all art is. Some art can be abstract. That's what this is. Okay. And then I'll dump it out onto my paper towel. And I can take this out and take off my washi tape. Be very careful. Look at that, I have those really neat borders. I really like how this one turned out. So I, we can compare my two. And you know what? That purple made everything stand out, I think, even more. Just added a nice little extra bit of depth. But I like both of these a lot. I think they're very cool. And they could look very cool in a frame, on a picture, or... I'm gonna show you one last thing you could do. You could take these and here I took one of my pieces of paper and I folded it in half. So you could take these ones that you already made and once they're dry, you could fold them in half and turn them into cards if you wanted. One last one for this idea. So I folded it in half. So I know that this will be part of my card Let's do this. We have the washi tape. I'm going to take the washi tape and I'm going to, so if my card was going to go this way and it was going to have some writing on here, I might want to have a little box. I'm going to use this to mask off kind of a little box. Or if you have some big heart stickers at home or star stickers, you could grab those and use those to do a mask. And I don't care if the lines on the outside of this are perfect. I'm just gonna put this down just to, so that it's covering up a little section that's kind of like a, a rectangle shape just a little bit. So you could choose to do no masking on this one and just do another one with your marbles. You could decide to mask it. And then I'm gonna lay it down in there. Use a little bit of washi tape to make it stick. Just gonna do a little bit at the corners again. So if somebody's birthday is coming up or a holiday, maybe you wanna make a card for that, or maybe you just wanna give a friend a card to let them know you're thinking of them because we don't need holidays to give out cards. Sometimes we just want people to feel special and let them know that someone loves them and is thinking of them. So we give them cards for that. You can make a card like this. It is always really exciting to get something good in the mail. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try two colors. I wanna do purple and do some dots of purple. Woo, that was a big splotch. 
I'm gonna do it from really high up and see what happens. That's kind of cool. When it hits, sometimes it makes some, like some of the purple kind of falls off of, um, like the blob of paint hits it and then splashes like water. So that's why I have these little dots of purple around because it's splashing off of the paper. And then I'll shake this one up and just do some tiny little dots because I've already got quite a bit of paint on here. Okay. And then back go my marbles. up roll them down oh no so see what's happening right now is my paper because it's not staying stuck down the marbles are going underneath it and some of my paint splotches were so big and they're not spreading so i'm trying to be very careful and plan to try it's kind of like a game to see if I can get my marbles and the paint splotches exactly right through the ones that I want. Well, I saw a really good idea from one of our friends, Miss Heidi, and that would be taking this project and even turning it into like um, a printing project. So if you put paint directly in your tray Ooh. and roll your marbles around in your tray, you make the pattern on the bottom here and then you can take your piece of paper and you can press it down and then lift it up and take the impression of what you did in your tray. So that would be another really fun idea to try if anybody wants to get a little bit creative. And that way you could make multiple copies of your print from your tray if you can do that before your paint dries. That is such a smart, interesting idea. I love it. I love when our friends teach us different things. Oh, you're all so creative. That's why I love getting to do these projects with you because I learn things from you. We all yeah. learn things from each other. I'm gonna take off my washi tape here in the middle and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so mine now just needs to dry, but it'll be ready. When I'm ready to turn it into a card, I'll have a place where I can write a name or a message. Or this one that I did first is all dry now. So I'm going to take, I have some markers. These ones are paint markers, but you can use any marker. Shake that up. And I think I just want to write. I want it to be a friendly message. So I'm going to write just on here. Welcome. I'm going to use some fancy letters. I'm going to use some cursive for my welcome. There we go. Welcome. And this message is for all of you because I want to make sure you feel welcome to come to the library and say hi to us and you feel welcome to send us pictures of your art and share it all with us, especially anything that you make. I really hope you keep working on this kind of art 
any of the projects that we do. I hope you get time to do it and keep practicing and figure out what your favorite things are to do for art. Because I don't know about all of you, but I know that art, making art makes me feel really good inside. So that days when I'm feeling, like I said, today I was feeling a little bit slower and a little bit not as energetic. And now my energy is up because I got to make art with all of you, which makes me so happy. So when you're having a rough day, you can always maybe try a little bit of art and see if that gives you some energy. And we have all kinds of projects we've done before. Well, I can show you one of my here. So I actually put the tape through the middle. Ooh. Yeah, so I kind of masked off a line in the middle of my artwork. So I was thinking that maybe next time I could try to make either more lines or make a different shape. Like you made a square on yours. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking that maybe I could make like a triangle or even a star and then be able to um, add that into the rest of what I make. Then I think, Miss Katie, are we good to to say goodbye? I think so. up in what would it be now? Three weeks, Miss Heidi is March fifteenth, and that's when our April and May registration is going to open. Yes. So we've got more art programs coming up, and then we've got other um, hopefully in person programs that are going to be coming up. So that will give our friends a chance to come and see us at the library and do all kinds of different stuff together. That sounds like a great time. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. A whole new season. Springtime. Yes. Who knows what it's going to bring. <laughs> we'll get to be a, maybe go do things outside and it'll be warm. Miss Katie will be happy. Yes. I love the spring and I love the fall. I like it when it starts to get warmer. We can go outside maybe with just a little bit of a light jacket see all the flowers growing and the animals coming out. So I'm looking forward to it, my friends. All right. Thank you all for being here with us today. It was so good to see your faces. They made, and your art, they just made us so happy. I can, I guess I can only speak for myself, but I felt very happy. Okay. As Katie said, I can speak for her too. We both felt very happy seeing all of you. You gave us a lot of joy. So we hope you have you a great rest of your day. Keep making art and make sure you can always, I'll put this in the chat, but you can always send us an email with your pictures of your art to digitalmakeritpld.org. I share those with Miss Katie when you send them. And we love to see the different things you make. So it doesn't even have to be this art. Just share us the things that you're inspired by because it helps inspire us. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for being here with us. We'll see you next time.